Welcome to Kids Cove News. We have some special birthdays to celebrate this week. Happy birthday to Sweet Joy Kathy. And happy birthday to Kaziah and Asher. And happy birthday to James Stephen. Happy birthday, friends. Happy birthday, guys. Guess what? VBS is here. It is. It's here. Yay. It's my most favorite week of the entire year, and it starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. So if you have not registered, there is still room, but sign up today, right after church, so we can get you in the right class. We are so excited for this amazing week of fun and games and learning so much about Jesus with all of our friends. We will have an incredible time of learning our Bible lessons together, games, bounce houses, snow cones every day. Jana Elira is with us to lead us in worship, and there are so many more fun things in store for VBS. On Sunday, July 21st, you will not want to miss VBS Sunday. If you are new to a church or want to learn more about First Dallas, your parents are invited to breakfast at 9.15 in the evening. And you are invited to join us at Sunday School as Jana is with us for last group that morning. Yes, and you're going to get to see the end of our skit, which Ooh, is a little cliffhanger, I think. But then we're going to all go to the historic sanctuary at 11 o'clock for worship with our families. And you get to sing on stage with Jana Alira. We'll also have a free lunch for everyone in center stage together after church. Do not forget about our scripture memory celebration on July 28th. You have worked so hard all year long to memorize your verses, and we want to celebrate all your hard work. We also have our preschool and preteen play days coming up on July 31st, and we're getting ready for Promotion Sunday coming up on August 18th. Yes, our sixth graders are about to go to the student ministry and we have our kindergarten Bible presentation and big church club luncheon on Sunday, August 11th. If you are going into kindergarten next year, tell your parents to watch the email for some very important details. We can wait to celebrate you. You know, my daughter Avery is going into kindergarten Ooh, this year, and I'm so cool. excited for the Big Church Club luncheon and the to get her new Bible. Oh, so, so, special. so special. Today is National Mac and Cheese Day. I <laughs> love mac and cheese. I do too. It is my favorite thing to have for lunch. <laughs> That's, That's a wrap for, for Kids, Kids Cove, Cove News. News. See you next week on iCampus Kids. Kids. Hey everybody, my name is Yancey. I know that today is gonna be a great day here at iCampus Kids. You know, anytime that we are giving praise to Jesus, it's a way that we are telling him thank you for all that he has done in our life. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Let's tell our God thank you. Come on, clap your hands. This is the day that God has made.
that for this amazing day. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss Amanda, and I'm so happy you're here to learn more about the Bible with me. Have you ever gotten a card in the mail? I love getting cards in the mail from friends. Recently, I went to a friend's birthday party and I got them a gift. A week later, I got a card in the mail saying thank you for the gift. That made my heart feel so happy that my friend said thank you. Today in our Bible story, we are going to learn about a song that was written in the Bible saying thanks. Let's grab our Bible so that we can learn more. The Bible is a very special book. All the words in the Bible are real and true. God gave us this special book so that we can learn more about him and his son Jesus and how much he loves us. Our story today is found in the book of Psalms in chapter 138. David was the king of Israel. He was a man who loved God. He wrote many songs to God. David wanted to say thank you to God. These are some of the words that David wrote. Thank you, God, for your love. You have kept your promises. I will sing praises to your name. Whenever I pray to you, you listen and answer. You have made me strong. All the leaders of the earth will praise you, God. You are mighty and strong. People will sing of the wonderful things you do. Even though you are great, you love us, God. You protect me if I am in danger. You will help me do what you want me to do. You will love me forever. Let's look at the picture. Wasn't that a beautiful song? These words are found in the Bible and they help us to learn more about God and what he is like. He loves us, he protects us, he listens to our prayers and keeps his promises. I'm so thankful that we have the Bible so that we can learn more about God. Our Bible verse says, I will remember God's words Psalm 119, 16. Let's pray and ask God to help us remember these words. Father God, we love you so much. And we thank you for this day and this time together. And I thank you for each of the boys and girls that are here learning more about you. And Father, I pray that you would take the words we learned today and hide it in their hearts. Father, help them to be curious and learn more about you. And Father, help them to remember the words that they learn, Father. Draw them close to you. Help them to know your son, Jesus. And it's in Jesus' beautiful name that we pray. Amen. Let's play a game of what's missing. You guys know how to play this game, right? I've got some rows and some columns here that um, of different things that help us remember our Bible story. Today in our Bible story, um, David wrote a song of thanks to God. And in the, in the song, he talked about when we pray, God listens and answers our prayers. And we learned that David was the king of Israel. That all of the words we learned about today, we could find in the Bible and that God loves us and protects us and helps us um, every day. So you remember how to play this game. I want you to cover your eyes and I'm gonna take one of these pictures away and you've gotta figure out, is it in the blue column or the crown row or the Bible row or the heart row or the praying hands row, okay? Are you ready? Okay, cover your eyes, no peeking. Okay, open your eyes, what's missing? Hmm, did you find it? There's a big hole right here. Can you tell what color it is? Very good, it comes out of the yellow column. And then what row? 
Very good. It's the heart row. The yellow heart was missing. Okay, let's go again. Cover your eyes. No peeking. All right, friends, open your eyes. Can you tell what's missing? Very good, that was quick. You could tell it was in the blue column, but what row? Very good, it was the, uh, the, not the Bible, the crown, the blue crown. Very good. All right, let's do it again. Cover your eyes, no peeking. All right, friends, open your eyes. What do you see is missing? Ah, made it a little harder this time. There are two pictures missing. Can you tell what they are? What column, what color are the pictures? Very good, they're orange. And which two pictures are they? Very good, you guys are so smart. This is the orange heart and the orange Bible. Very good. All right, let's play again. Cover your eyes, no peeking. All right, friends, open your eyes. What's missing? Oh, I made it hard again. There are two spaces up there. Can you tell what color? Oh, very good. I heard someone say blue, but what picture that is blue? You're right. It's the blue praying hands, the praying hands row. Hmm, wait a minute. Is that from the praying hands row also? You're right, but what color is it? Very good, it is orange. All right, let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Okay, cover your eyes, no peeking. All right, friends, open your eyes. Can you tell what's missing? Two pictures are missing. Oh my goodness, so many. So many answers out there. All right, we can tell there's one missing here in the yellow row, but what picture is it? You're right, it is the Bible, very good. All right, the last picture, which one is missing? You're so smart. It was the pink heart, very good. Thanks for playing the game with me. I'll see you next time, bye-bye. Kibbs kids, I'm Coach Bobcat. Wow, the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids is good. Now, when I say our campus kids, I need you to throw your hands in the air like you just scored a touchdown and say it's good, okay? Now, once again, I'm Coach Bobcat. Wow, the new strength and conditioning coach for our campus kids. It's good. All right, now I'm the coach who's ready to help you to be able to say it's good. Say it's good. All right. All right, friends. Now, it is getting warm out and it's summertime here in the summer. And you know what? I had to get out there and get my cool summer dew, okay? So did you notice? <laughs> okay, now the first thing that a great athlete needs to do is before you get out there and play in the game is you gotta stretch. Somebody say stretch. All right, now everybody stand up, stand up and get ready. Come on, we're gonna get ready to stretch. Now, turn to your neighbor and say, I need a little bit of stretching space. All right, okay. All right, turn to your other neighbor and say, I need a little bit of stretching space. Okay, now we're gonna start out with some ups, sides, and some downs, okay, everybody? So say it with me, here we go. Up, side, down, say it again, we go. Up, side, down, say it again, we go. Up, side, down, one more time we go up, side, down. Now let's walk in place. Walk in place, everybody. Come on, walk in place, everybody. Let's go, walk in place, everybody. Let's go, walk in place. All right, now it's time to get ready, okay? Now we need to have a great meal. So everybody get your big old bowl and get a big old spoon and let's stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Let's taste the chili, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, 
Mmm, come on, tasty chili. You know what we need? We need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Come on, everybody, need a little salt. Come on, everybody, and we need a little pepper. Stir that chili, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. Come on, everybody, stir the chili. One more time, stir the chili. Okay, everybody, it's time to go outside. And oh no, there's a storm coming, and it's got thunder which goes boom, 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 and lightning, 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 thunder. Boom, 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 and lightning, 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 lightning. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good job, good job. Now, this week, we're going to play a game, and it's called Coach Says. Now, remember, here's how we play. If I say Coach Says, you do whatever Coach says. But if I don't say any Coach Says, you don't do anything. If you understand, say, it's good. All right, now let's see how you do with Coach Says, okay? Now, if you're ready to play, here's what I want you to do. Make sure you hear the words Coach Says. Here we go. Coach Says, sit down, okay? Coach Says, stand up, okay? All right, everybody sit down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't say Coach Says. I didn't say those words. Remember to listen for the words Coach Says. Okay, Coach Says, walk like a king. Okay, you guys walking like a king? Mm -hmm. All right, coach says wave like a king. Okay, everybody wave like a king, coach says. Okay, coach says act like a king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, everybody. Okay, coach says, coach says sit down like a king. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Now, David was the king of Israel and he loved God, but he also loved to show God how much he loved him and how much he believed in him by writing songs, okay? So coach says, act like you're writing something down or writing a note, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. All right, coach says, sing a song quietly. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. All right, coach says, say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now, coach says, David prayed to God, all right? So, coach says, let's pray like David did. Thank you, thank you for loving us and being so good to us, amen. All right, coach says, show yourself listening, okay? Can you do that? Mm. What are you saying? Okay, yeah. oh, I hear you, okay, okay. Uh, all right, okay, good, all right. Coach says, show you're strong. <laughs> Whoa, yes. All right, friends, David knew that praying to God, that God would listen, to his prayers and he would also answer his prayers. And David also knew that God is worthy of all our praise, okay? So we gotta all be like David and trust everything with God, okay? Now, great job today, everybody. My name is Coach Bobcat, wow! And I'm the new strength and conditioning coach for I Campus Kids is good. And I'll see you next week for more I Campus Kids is good. Hi, I Campus Kids. It is so good to see you again today. We hope you have so much fun listening to our Bible story with Miss Amanda, hanging out with Coach Bobcat, and singing with our great friend, Jackie. It's been fun already. You know, boys and girls, we learned about a special man named David today. And God used David to write some of the Old Testament in the Bible. Did you know that the Bible is made up of different types of writing? Some writings in the Bible are songs and some are prayers. There are also so many different stories that really happen. Yes. And so today we read a song that David sang to the Lord. It was a song of praise and of thanksgiving. That's right. And today we are going to play it again my favorite game, <laughs> Musical Statues. Have you oh, played Musical Statues before? I love that game, Miss <laughs> Teresa. So whenever you hear music play, you dance. But make sure you're listening really well because when it stops, 
you have to freeze and become a statue. Are you ready? Let's play. All right. Let's dance. <gasps> freeze. Let's dance. <laughs> this is freeze. Fun. Let's dance. Freeze. That was so much fun. Ooh, that was fun, Chelly. I love I that love. game. I love the game. Think about all the things that you are thankful to God for this week. See, See you, you next, next time, time on iCampus Campus Kids. Yes, I love what we heard today. David is such a great example in the Bible of someone who gave thanks to God and sang the praises of God no matter what was going on in life. Friends, I want us to have a praise party right now and celebrate some of the amazing things that God has done. Come on, let's give him thanks. Let's praise him together. is a praise party for everyone so make a joyful sound let's have some fun we're gonna celebrate sing and shout thank you jesus for all you've done for me and my family for my mom and dad that they love me i'm gonna clap my hands spin around and sing so good to us. 